Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> oh man, we've been having some major issues with our internet out here. So I am so sorry that we got disconnected. Um, come on in. Join me. I am looking for my live so that I can catch you guys. Oh my gosh, this has been... Um, quite the day. Um, for those of you who know my husband, he gets really, really frustrated when we have internet issues. And I think with everyone safer at home, we have been having major, um, like major usage of our internet, um, around the people around us. And it's really slowing down our service. And sometimes it disconnects. Um, so I'm so sorry for those of you who had popped on earlier and got disconnected. I see a number of you watching. When you come in, say hello. Hi, Kim. Hi, Sue. So sorry for that little snag. I'm ready to stamp with you guys tonight and relax and chill out, do a little creative therapy, I like to call it, with our paper pumpkin kit. I am comfy and cozy in my stamping sweater. For real, stamping sweater. See? Oh, there's a glare. Stamping up. And my yoga pants. I got my big ice water. I don't know what you're drinking tonight. See if there's anything more fun than ice water in your glass. Um, tonight, we're stamping with our paper pumpkin kit. I have two fabulous projects that will knock your socks off. Um, alternates using the stuff in this kit. Um, I let's see what else do I have here? Oh, for those of you who might be new, um, I always forget to introduce myself. Those of you who might be new to my page, my name is Rose Grunewald, and um, I am what you would call a creative cope. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I love to share inspiration with you, and I have a blog, countrycardsbyrose.com. I'm here in my stamping studio in New Holstein, which is out in rural um, America here, which is how I got the name Country Cards by Rose. And I don't want to talk your ear off, I want to do some stamping tonight. Hi, Carol. It's been a long time since I got to stamp with you. I'm so excited that you're joining me. Um, okay, so first of all, let's talk about paper pumpkins. This is what we're using, and isn't it pretty? This is the Octo Kit. So I like to call paper pumpkin creativity in a box, and it's a subscription service that gets mailed to you, and I'm so excited to reveal what October's kits look like. These are the cards that we can make, oh, everything's back, I have to remember. These are the cards we can make in this month's kit. Um, it's perfect timing for Christmas, and I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think you can make eight of them. Um, so awesome about that is, um, for those of you who want to do something different for your Christmas cards, this would be a great way to get started. Um, okay, so I've already opened mine up because I was playing around and getting inspired with alternate projects, but when you get this, this would come all like cellophane wrapped together. Okay, so we have some info on the cards, and then when you open up, everything you need to make the cards is in here. So there's an ink pad, a little mini ink pad. I usually save these for when I'm traveling. Um, it's easy to just grab, and then I can take a ton of different ink colors with me without having to lug my whole big um, ink tower over there with me. So I keep those. I don't use them when I do the kit. Um, there's some thread here, and it looks this is in Cherry Cobbler. And the best part, you get your own monthly stamp. Lots of stamps um, for Stampin' Up! are well over 20 bucks. This subscription's uh, 22 bucks a month, so like that's all. Okay, and then in here, this is like my favorite part because we all know dyeing and fussy cutting can kind of be frustrating sometimes. Um, it comes with all the pieces already die cut um, to make the card. So it's like super easy. As you can see, they just kind of pop right out of there. Um, <clears throat> we are must be in some stamping on some of these labels. And these come, and you can see they're already punched out. Um, I'm so excited about this part. Um, this kit has some gorgeous words. So it's got joy, love, I think peace. Uh, and they also have those words in um, French and some other languages. So I thought that was super cool. You get all the envelopes that you need for the projects in there. And these are really pretty envelopes. So when they open them up, they're going to get really pretty paper. Um, what else is in here? Of course, the card bases. So um, 
all of the card bases to put together. This would be some super fun I could imagine doing with my niece. So for those of you who have kids, I bet they would love to put this together for you. I see we've got more people watching. Make sure you say hi. I want to connect with you tonight. Um, okay, now we've also got these. Um, I hope you can see the texture here. Let me bring this closer. Oops, oops. Always backwards. Do you see how this, um, oh, it's really hard to see. Maybe if I, there we go. It kind of looks like a sweater. Um, and these are in different sizes. Again, these are all pieces that we're going to use to put the card together. We got some dimensionals. This is for the of you who are new to stamping. Um, these are like adhesive pods that help you pop your um, card layers up. And then little adhesive dots. So you don't even need your glue usually to make these projects. And then um, for some more of these letters. So um, I'm going to put some of this back here. And we are going to make some of these cards. I'm just going to show you how super fun and easy it is. I think the first card I want to make is this wreath. I think that's the one. Um, and it looks like it says joy. So let's get what we need out. I'm going to use this. By the way, Paper Pumpkin also um, makes a video on their website. Um, that shows you how to put this stuff together. Or you could just join me the third day of the month and we could craft it together. I'm using my bone folder so I get a nice crisp fold there. All right, I need one of these pieces here. Okay, it looks like we need to wrap our ribbon around there and tie it. So let's do that right away. We probably do need a scissors to put this um, most of these kits together. I'm thinking that they come with some sort of ribbon or um, twine embellishment. And we're going to do a whole spool of it, so we're going to cut that off. So if you're traveling, just maybe toss some snips in your craft tote. All right. So I'm going to tie this like it shows on here in a bow. This is like something. <laughs> Did you get this month's kit? And if not, have you gotten paper pump before? I'm curious if you've ever, um, I cannot get this to stay. Um, if you've ever put together a paper pumpkin kit. I am set to get a little jump start on my Christmas cards with this kit month. This twin is like super, it's twisted. Those are fun little curly cues. Just trim off the ends of this. I feel like I use twine when I <laughs> put my projects together. Okay, now we need wreath. Let's see what's in this. We're gonna do wreath. I see we've got some more people watching. Hi, come on in. Thanks for joining us. Um, say hello. I want to connect with you. I don't want to just be on here like a TV show. <laughs> Talk to me, friends. Keep me company while I'm stamping. Okay. And I would love to share my video with you. Friends. If you share it on your face page, that's like one of my favorite things. Okay, now I'm going to use the color that came in the set. Just Jade. Um, these... I'm going to use a little bit of a mat here to stamp on. I like about these photopolymer stamp sets is that you can line it right up. So right now what I'm trying to do is figure out how this um, stamp lines up. I should have done this earlier with my um, stamp apparatus is what I should have done. Let's see. Oh, yep, that looks right. I think like this. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hilarious. You have no. There's all sorts of fun you could say, but I have to watch my language on here. <laughs> 
So we're putting a little dark green in there. If I talked the way I usually talk, I would probably put the Facebook words that would come out. At the place that I work, I didn't really stir that much before I started working there. It's just part of our culture. And now I like like a sailor. Working, work has made her more. And John's like, I can't believe you actually watch your language when you're stamping. You're known to swear a little bit. More. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know that people want to hear me swear all the time as I'm stamping. All right, I'm just putting glue on here to glue this on. So, can you imagine how fun it would be if you watched a stamper who was dropping four-letter words? Oh, I don't think that would be very popular on Facebook by the folks at Facebook. They'd probably flag me as fake news. <clears throat> All right. I'm using dimensionals that they have in here. So you can see how this is some like, and this is fun to put this together. Um, okay, I just got to try and get in here under, let's see, like this, yeah, that looks about right, there we go, what do you think, I probably should have moved this, oh, that's okay, it looks nice, okay, um, then I need the word joy, hi, Wynn, glad you make it, hope you're having a good night. I'm in my yoga pants and my stamp setter, stamping with everybody here, um, trying to find the pieces I need to make this card. Okay, so this was super easy, dried out, and I'm going to use a little glue here to glue it down. It has really fine tip points, so it's perfect um, for these. Now, um, if you want to get the paper pumpkin substance, it makes a really, really great gift. I'm going to do it like this. Um, something totally unique about that. I mean, if you want to know how to do that, I would be super happy to get you that and help you out. Okay, we're done. We already made a card. And all the stuff was cut. Now, of course, there's all sorts of stuff. I lost my stamp set. Huh? Oh, just on top of my notes. Um, you could stamp the inside. You could put some pretty flowers on it. This one says, uh, wishing you a very happy Christmas, fun and laughter. Um, so this is how easy it is to put this together, guys. Easy peasy. My friend Kelly says easy. Now, I am going to, I mean, you can say you can put all these beautiful cards together. I'll take a little break from these cards. And instead, I'm going to show you how you can take this pumpkin kit, and I'm going to show you two alternatives today, okay? I'm trying to clear up my space here. One of them I'm going to show you uses our paper pumpkin kit um, stuff with products. So using the stamp set, using some of the pieces, with some other products. The second card I'm gonna is going to be using only stuff, our paper pumpkin kit, with the exception of um, a little bit extra paper. So two options tonight. For some of you who are avid crafters, this is where the fun really begins. And for those of you who are beginner stampers, I just want to show you how easy it is to this, okay? Now, I need to show you what I'm using. I keep my guys in here. So, um, here we go. In a paper pumpkin kit with the um, In the Pines bundle. Love the uh, these are the pine woods dies, and then I'm also going to be using this big uh, jigger from the stitched so sweetly die. This is cool for those of you who are new. Um, it looks like it's hard. Um, I got super super beautiful. I'm curious. Um, who has been crafting with either of these? Have you been using in the pines at all? 
um, and wondering if you use the stitch. Okay, um, I've got a card base here. This um, is going to be a tall card. So this is a piece of cardstock, and you cut like a hot dog, right? Remember when you like hamburger folds and hot dog? You cut a long way in half. So this is four and a quarter inches by eleven, and then score it at and a half and fold it at five and a half. The grain of your paper runs this way. So when you make a tall card, I always score it so that it's a nice crisp fold. When you do a shins up, you need to score because the grain of the paper is going the same as the fold. It's easier to get a nice crisp fold. And I'm going to use a piece of Whisper White for our front. I usually like to use kind of a, a second layer. I, I don't, for some reason I'm not a fan of always you know, um, doing my projects right on that card base. Just a habit, I guess. Um, this piece of Whisper White, let me look. Um, okay, this one's gonna be four by five and a quarter. And then I took one of these really pretty pieces and I am going to cut it out using this big, this bigger side label thingy. So don't mind me in the middle of this mess. I have more people watching than are talking. So I'm really curious of those people watching have you stamped before? I invited a few non-stampers um, to our event tonight because I connect with them too. They're friends of mine and I thought it would be fun to connect and be creative together. So if any of you are watching that have not stamped before, just see me in the comments and that's cool um, to explain some of this stuff a little bit. I'm going through a few times on this because I want a good cut and I don't want to have to mess around with um, a crappy die cut piece here. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, it's going to pop right out. Um, I'm going to bring this closer so you can see. These are actually just labels, but it looks like um, it's been stitched with a sewing machine. All right, let's set this aside. Hope I don't lose it. Okay. So now, I also am going to be using some of the pines from our um, pine woods dies, these ones. However, I already cut them out because I didn't want to make you watch me cut out three. So I've cut trees and have some, what else am I using here? I always forget what this stuff is called. This is cream seam binding ribbon, and I'm gonna pair this with our um, twine that came in our kit. So, I'm gonna glue this down. Are you guys excited for Friday? You know, my work week has been so, so hectic. And, and Oh my gosh, I've just been super stressed and busy at work. I could not wait to know. This is how I help um, beat my stress, is by doing some stamping. Very, very um, stress relieving for me. And um, tomorrow is Friday, and next weekend is John and my anniversary. We'll have been married four years. So I guess you honeymooners. Uh, or newlyweds, you call it, not honeymoon. That would be a crazy honeymoon four years long. Yeah. But anyway, um, so I'm super excited. We're going to do a little vacationing, and I am ready for it. I'm using two ribbons on this. I'm trying my best to get it. Um, White's on the bottom and the cranberry colorish one is over the top. Oh, way too long. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Oh, it's like I'm tying shoes and the stuff is all over the place. Okay. So I'm just going to tie this in a bow card. Sometimes when I have these bows, I really wish I had like three thumbs. Usually I would not first, but with this crinkled seam binding, I wasn't sure if it would get to be just a little too bulky. Home and let me know what you think. Has anyone put two ribbons before a project like this? I've been seeing it kind of on Pinterest and um, 
I thought it looked really neat and something I wanted to try, so here I'm trying. And we've got our bow. What do you think so far? This is turning out pretty good. I think it's pretty already. But you're not done yet. Let's try and line this up. There we go. Okay. Now we've got our trees. Um, actually, I would use. I think I might tuck these under my bow. Move this down a little bit. This is how I craft. I like to. Um, I'm gonna do a couple of them under, like this. And then I think I'll do one popped up on top. Yeah, I like that. All right. So, liquid glue. There we go. And now get my second one down. I'm curious, did any of you catch my mystery tonight? We had so much fun. Uh, I'm going to use a mini dimensional to pop this up. And you still have a row to stamp along. Um, and cut the order at 11.30 in the morning, central time. But you have until then to put your order in to get a chance um, at the mystery hostess prize. Okay, so I popped that tree up on dimensionals. And now we've got our word piece here to adhere that to the front. Here we go, this one's already open. Let's try that. I can't wait for you guys to see the card. It's really, really beautiful. Not that this is not, I mean, this one is gorgeous too, but the next one is awesome. Um, I was gonna do um, sentiment here, but where did my, here they are. This one says peace, and I think I want to to the world. Peace to the world. Now, if you uh, gotten a paper pumpkin kit before, in your they'll give you a stamp block. So then you stamp. Some of you who are new might be thinking, how do I stamp? <clears throat> are are you loving these cards? If you love them, show me some love. Let me know that makes my day. Let's do the world. I like that. Puppy Abnels 2. There we go. And if you're catching the replay, you can show me love too. If you like the project and sing hello. I feel like I could use a little more color. What do you think? Should we do it? Why should we do more color? I don't know. This white is pretty beautiful, just as it is. I think I've. All right, now we are going to pop our layer card front. You can see how it's coming together. Way, way better than any card you would buy in the store today. I held out some prizes. You know, I do a door prize. Um, you have to be signed up for my newsletter. I put that link. You have to be signed up for my newsletter to qualify for the drawing I did. I sent those in the mail today. And today I was at the post office and the lady says, and do you need any cards or stamp before you leave? And I was like, cards? You have no idea how many cards I have in my house. Hey, we're done. What do you think? So I used the cable stitch, I used the piece, I used the red ribbon, and um, our little label here. This card is done. So this is our first project. I'm super happy with how that turned out. If you want a flash in here, you could do a little, um, you could do a little marker flick across your card here. You could do some bling. Ooh, that would be fun. Should we do a little bling? That would be all right, let's go for our rhinestones. We have to bling. Okay, so I'm gonna tuck. I love the flat as tear tool, it's so awesome. I'm gonna go down here, and let's see. If 
think I will do one. Thank you, Sue. Sue says, gorgeous card. That was pretty easy, huh? Not so hard to put those cards together. Of course, those beautiful shiny words really help. But there's our first card, done. We got some sparkly bling, awesome. I'm really excited for the next one. Now the next card I'm going to show you, I use some extra paper, but that's about it. Everything else I use in this card is right from the kit. Okay, so like you could take this kit with you and make you right now. Um, so, oh, I did use sign, but you wouldn't have I can't reveal, I'm so excited. We're going to use some braided linen trim, but again, cranberry ribbon in there. Um, we are going to use a base. I've already been playing around. Stick around for this one, my friends, because this card is breathtaking. It is, I am stunned I even up with it, to be honest with you. I'm gonna do some die cutting out of this card. So, I guess I lied. We are using a little bit extra on the card kit. I'm using um, the rectangle from the Stitched Shapes dies, has circles and rectangles. The rectangle I'm using is the second largest one. So if you've got this set, it's not the biggest one, but the next biggest one. And what I'm gonna do is just cut a piece of base here. I really want to get this really beautiful um, pattern in here, this kind of foily look. Hi Jean, welcome. I'm so glad you could catch me live. You are just in time to catch the last card. So you, you can watch the replay, but you're going to catch my last card, which is my favorite. So um, it looks like maybe you got here just in time. Okay. Oh, again, this is the card vase. Remember our first card we made? We just folded it in half here. Our card. Well, I just cut a piece out of here. I saved this because there's a strip here and all sorts of things that you. Okay, I'm going to pop this out and set this aside. So, a square out of this really. Um, let's see. What else do I want to use here? Okay, I'm going to use one of these. Pretty laser tags. And I need some paper. So, I need a piece for the inside at first. I keep covering up my notes. Sorry, I also just bumped. Some of you might have gone deaf here. Um, okay, let me see how big this piece is. This piece is five and a quarter by four. So we're just going to cut this down quick, five and a quarter, four, okay, and we also need, I'm using a piece of cherry cobbler for my card base, so I'm going to cut this at five and a half by eight and a half that is um, five and a quarter by four set this aside from my scrap rail cut this one down this little tiny strip just throw away save it we're gonna use it okay. and now I'm gonna do something awesome that maybe you haven't. I was playing around with this kit and I thought, let's see, by the way, I'm also going to need this big label here. There. I was playing around with this kit. Oh, Jean, you're getting snow. There are a lot of people getting snow. And I thought that this was really gorgeous. And then I looked in and it's almost the entire envelope. So we're going to use, I'm going to take my trimmer and I am just going to cut envelope open. So really all I'm doing guys is cutting 
this old part off that way and then I'm going to do the same on this other side cutting the end off so when I cut the end off I can see my envelope opens up I'm going to cut just along this envelope fold piece I'm going to cut just on the side of this envelope fold and then I'm going to cut these ends off. So we're getting more paper out of our kit here guys. All right. So now we've got what looks like designer series paper and you probably can't see the details of different languages. What do you okay so now we've got this piece and we're gonna cut this down to five and an eighth by three and seven. So just an eighth of an inch smaller than our um, layer in front. Save this strip, do not throw that away. And then five and an eighth here. Okay. Let's start stringing. Hard. I'm just gonna fold that in half, and I lost five of them. No worry. I got you. I let's see. Stamp the inside or away and get that kind of out of the way here. Find my pierce. And the same is this. Um, wishing you a very happy Christmas. Thank you, Sue. I was pretty. Nice. I'm using my cherry cobbler stamp pad. Um, when I'm stamping words, I, I like to I like this grid paper on here because I'll line up my corners and then try and use the grid paper as a little guide for me um, to keep my words straight. This in the middle hopes. Good. I really should use my stamp apparatus more than I do. Now remember, we saved this strip. We are going to put our piece on one part. This one's going to be that one. So we got right tight to the edge of this layer, like so. And then I'm going to grab my snips and just trim off this edge. So there we go. And um, you can. Write all over this. You can sign it. Um, okay, I'm lining this up. And remember my tip from my Wednesday live over lunchtime: you just have to line up two sides right in the center. Side. What do you think? I'm a light, you guys. <laughs> all right. I want to stamp the saying on the front. So this one says Merry Christmas. I'm using this water from Merry Christmas. Let me grab a block. I'm putting this one in Cherry Cobbler. I put my ink pads away right away because there are so many times that I have dropped my finished product, my finished card in. Has that any of you before? Oh my gosh. That is the worst to do that. All right. So we're going to be putting together some layers. I'm going to glue my new envelope design. Front back right behind that designer series paper. It adds so much and it makes this a little sturdier. We're going to be actually tying some twine around it so it also helps with it being sturdy. So, gorgeous wonderful amazing tag we're layering so i'm not doing too many dimensionals just yet to be able to send this in the mail so we're gonna on here would be good and this is a pretty awesome card because i can kind of line with the words um to make sure that it's straight love it okay and I'm going to end up popping this up on dimensions, but I want to bring something down here. This tiny, tiny strip that we cut off, 
base when we were cutting a cobbler we're using it now and so I am going to attempt to get this straight good oh my gosh <laughs> big flop okay now I can't even keep my iron square straight I think I have more on one side than on the other yeah, that's okay, but we can trim it up later. Okay, so we're ready for just yet. I'm going to come in here with the only thing I'm using other than that card stuck with my um, linen trim. Now, let me bring the braided linen trim. I wanted to bring some of this crumb cake color, natural color, into... We're just going to tie this in a bow. And again, having that extra layer of cardstock, this piece that I cut from the envelope, is really helping to make this a bit more sturdy. I love the brown and trim. It's a little stiff when you guys uh, tie a bow. It stays where you want it to stay, and I really like that. I'm just going to cut some of this off. Ooh. And I love that sound. Okay, now go. I want this up on dimensionals, but before we do that, so gluing down my Merry Christmas in the middle. What do you think of these layers? I love, love, love layers. I watched the um, artisan design team, and then they make really, really pretty layers on their cards. All right, now we're going to a bit dimension and layer card with our dimensionals. I keep on the edges of the square in case I need to move around this um, linen trim. In case I need to move it around at all. We come in here. I do need to move it. Hang on. Well, it came undone. I hope I can tie this again. I moved it and I got There we go. Right. Sticking on my. Top layer. There we go. Move this down. I want this loop off. There we go. I want this. I'm trying to get this tight up. I'm just color. I'm a stampin' girl. Hopefully this does not um, smugly work. I'm popping. And then we're going to put it on our card base. And we're going to wonder and relish it. In. Center that up. And there we have it. There is our alternate card using just the products in paper tip. This one used some extra stuff. This one used everything in the paper pumpkin kit. You know, use beautiful designer series paper on here. What do you think, you guys? So paper pumpkin is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful can add to a new stamp set every single month that's at 22 bucks and I made other stuff that's um and you can get your subscription by clicking on that link up there how did you like these projects I'm so excited you could come see me play on YouTube make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel I'm gonna do this make sure to be here next month again years or what um, 
thanks for joining me tonight. We'll watch your families and your evening. I will catch you um, next time. Happy Cards by Rose on Facebook. Happy crafting, you guys. See you later. Bye.